I'm feeling rejuvenated, excited, um, grateful, and my heart is bursting over what we've already accomplished in three weeks. I always feel a little afraid, questioning myself or being afraid of the potential and not setting my standard high enough for them. I always have that little whisper in my mind, but I used to fight it and now I carry it with like a little, just a little backpack with me, just carry all of the feelings with me because I found that when I'm able to embody my truest form of all of my feelings, because feelings are fleeting, I just let them. And it just, I think it, I think it elevates my, my experience because I feel like a human, a real human being. I'm not invincible. I'm just a human being trying to express life through movement. And I want to do that in the rawest form. And it's scary, the scope of that is scary to me. But also, is it, it eases my heart and pains my heart all at the same time. In this particular situation with Gibney, I already had a, a, an energy that I wanted to express. I already had this heightened march, I call it, call it a soul march, a, a moment where change is necessary, that you need to make a change. And when you make a change in your life, a huge shift in your life, for me, there's euphoria of potential inside that change, and then comes the realization of how much loss is abound, what you have to leave behind when change comes. And I was speaking to them about that, and I kept saying it just feels like a, an army, a heart army, a soul army, like a, an embodying the courage of a change and then suiting up, re-suiting up. And you're celebrating and marching through and giving holiness and pride to what you've lost, what you've learned, with also seeing what is in front of you and the potential of that, the potential of truth. So in that, it was a lot of crying and thinking. That was my, how I started this, this concept, was thinking about the, my, there was so much feeling inside of it. And that's the center of, of, of it. With rebirth comes death, with rebirth comes loss, with rebirth comes sacrifice. And, and how do you hold a sanctuary for both? So when I built the phrases, with my associate, Jen Freeman, who is an incredible artist. I came in with telling myself every day, don't judge it, don't have an opinion on it, don't question it, just do it, just feel it. And I, that's how I've been driving the movement. I came in with, with a few phrasing ideas, but very small, and then suddenly it just, I mean, they are, profoundly incredible artist that just took on the concept so fast. They made the room so willing and electric to just start. It's my first uh, collaboration with, with Give Me Dance Company and I'm so, so honored and excited. This company, when I saw the cast list, I was, I lost my breath. <laughs> I was like, whoa. This is a powerful group of artists, powerful, coming from all different worlds. And that's the beauty of this company and the beauty of this program and the beauty of Gina and of Nigel and of Amy. The inclusivity and the humanity inside of the company is why the work is beautiful.